This is McCook's Mr. Bill's honor to have you here. You're out here on the ranch and Sunday morning about 5.30 in the morning, so we got a full day to get a lot done, but I'll give you a few minutes. We had a uh, uh, rabies reported in the McCook Gazette this week in Nebraska, and of course it can happen any time during the year. And the culprit was a skunk, though about any predator could give you rabies with a bite, theoretically. But the skunk, not a, it doesn't have rabies, but it's a carrier. And there's so much danger with the skunk that uh, they've even made it against the law to own a skunk in the state of Nebraska. But if uh, you think that rabies is a new thing throughout the Dark Ages, a lot of people died and had total fear and would walk around with canes uh, to keep the wild dogs or anything away from them or anything with possible rabies. That's how they defended themselves back then. You might want to keep that in mind on a day after event. But as far as that goes, in southwest Nebraska, the first reported case of rabies was in the early 1880s. A small stagecoach line had a stop Oh, there was a hardware store there and a saloon, and that's about all. About 30 people lived right there. At the time, nothing is left, not even a stick of what that place was. But of those 30 people, a boy, about an eight-year-old boy, he uh, got uh, messed up with a skunk and was bitten. Well, he healed up within a couple of weeks, no problem. They hoped the best for him. And unfortunately, it wasn't much longer, though, it was quite evident that he had the rabies. Back then, there was no way to get anywhere quick, so he was, uh, you know, sentenced to death. But he didn't just die easy. Rabies is one of the more terrible ways to die here on earth, I'm here to tell you. That 30 people at that little way station there, they made a pact after that boy died, that if anybody else was ever bitten by the rabies and got it, that uh, before the end they would put them down, they'd kill them, so that they wouldn't have to suffer that terrible thing, a terrible way to die. You'd say, well, we don't have to worry about that nowadays. And you're probably right for the most part. But if a scenario comes through where a day after event, if you will, happens, and doctoring is either impossible or nearly impossible, and the odds of any kind of rabies vaccination or even snake vaccinations, so that people are going to die agonizing deaths, you or your loved ones may well be faced with the, uh, uh, the choice of allowing someone to suffer before they die or to put them down so that they don't. On this side of the day after, we have no problem putting down a, an animal or a dog, a cat, what have you, that does, needs to be put down, that is suffering. We don't consider it for humans now, but on the day after event, perhaps that will be the time to start taking a second look at not allowing humans to suffer when there's no other options other than to put them down. Just a conversation to think about and to discuss with your loved ones and pray that the day after event doesn't come in our lifetime. Rate this film.